what are you talking about? What are you talking about in the chat? I see you over there talking about me being late. Man, y'all don't realize the rushing that I went through today to get all this stuff going on. What's up, everybody? I see a lot of people in the house already. Uh, James Palmer's here. Who was the first one? The Chapin's here. Tom. Paul Curry, the mayor. Farm League's here. Um, let's see. James Palmer. Yeah, Stevens Card's here. So, Yeah. Got eight people out there, I think, watching now. So, and there's Lewis. How you doing, Lewis? Little change of, of plans. Um, didn't have much interest in the a blaster battle war, so um, thought we would switch it up a little bit. Um, you're going to rip that optic hoops and throw it in my mail. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I am going to rip those two products just so we can see them a little bit. Uh, we've already seen the optic I've ripped on the channel, but uh, I think I got like three packs of that. I'm going to save a couple of them. Uh, maybe do a little rip together, but the hoops, I got one blaster it and I'll probably do a separate video of that. Um, but I thought I'd open up at least one of the cello packs to get a look at that here on the live channel. So, um, so yeah, but so instead of, um, doing the blaster war, I thought we'd do a little personal rips. You can see the pricing there. Take a look at the pricing. I mean, I think I made them very, very competitive to what the, the market is a lot lower. I know a lot of channels are selling excuse me, the megas, because I, I jumped, dumped in a lot of food in my stomach real quick, but are like $35 is the cheapest I've seen anywhere. The top Chrome Update megas, uh, put them at 30. The sellers at 16, playbooks, at, uh, hangers at 16. And then of course the mega at 50, contenders, blasters at 26, holiday at 28, uh, the prism baseball mega box 50, and the basketball mega at 50, contenders mega at 50, tops update hangers, you can find them uh, well, they're, they're starting to drive a little bit, but 13 on those. And then I'm going to give away, not give away, but I'm going to let one of my NBA Hoops Prism Blasters go for 50. If whoever wants that, first one to uh, claim that in the chat will get that. I'll rip that. But anything else, like I said, just let me know. I'll add you to the total. Send my PayPal. Everybody knows my PayPal. Just scroll down in the comments. You'll see that. And then we'll just start uh, ripping. So uh, I will take that last prism baseball so james wants the prism baseball and put i'm just going to do a tally right here james prism baseball okay so i got james down um yes the draft yep i'll take the hoops blaster and a chrome mega update okay so we got uh tom wants the hoops blaster and a tops mega box okay all right i will take a prism draft basketball now all i got is the megas form league is that what you want form league <coughs> that's all i got i don't have any blasters or anything like that left that's all I got is this bad boy here, which is your, basically, it's got a lot of packs in it, just like the Prism, but it's, uh, it says two fines. It doesn't guarantee anything but the silvers in it. Mega. Okay. All right. So, Farm League, you want a basketball mega. All right. Got you down. Yep. That's all I got. So, um, while everybody is chatting it up a little bit and waiting on some other people to come in, I'll go ahead and rip a little bit. I'm going to set this off to the side a little bit. And like I said, I just thought I'd do this just to do a little bit of personal rips if people want to do it. That's fine. If not, um, you know, no big deal. Um, I'm set, stockpiling the product because I think the product will definitely go up in price a lot. Um, so let's get into a couple rips. We'll do a couple quick rips of mine. Uh, just to show the product, we'll start off with the optic. I think everybody's seen the optic, but um, I did pull, if you've seen my prior video, uh, out of one, one cello pack. It only has one rookie. Every now and then it'll have two rookies in it, but very rarely. Um, but look what I pulled out of that bad boy. Now, that's just dirt on the car, on, dirt on the top loader, but it's, go it's going off to be graded. That's a beautiful card. Optic, man. I know Prism is king, but man, these optics look sweet looking. I love the look of optic. There's the backs of them a little bit too, but that's the Justin Herbert. And they're definitely going off to be graded. 
for sure. Um, Molina staying with the Cardinals. Wish Molina went to the Milwaukee. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get in the optic a little bit solo. Yeah, let's see if we let's start off and see if we got any. Oh, we got a green prism pulsar. So they're usually used to get us. It seems like one out of every three packs will have the prism. Uh, one out of every three packs will have the green pulsar, and then one out of three packs will have nothing. So um, I'm hoping we get a rookie out of that. So uh, we got a Jimmy G right there. Will Fuller. Let me angle him down. Let me angle down the camera just a little bit. There we go. All right. So the Will Fuller. Tyree Keel. Nice Tyree Keel there. Devontae Parker. Back action of him a little bit. Kind of bland, but I mean, it's kind of what we expect from Optic. But if you love the product. Okay, I started to say many things have scratches all down, but all they are is just they come right off. So Devin Bush and man, Kyle Duggar is our rookie card for the Pats. Come on, man. Beautiful card though. Look at that card, man. You can't tell me that ain't a beautiful card. I often make some nice looking cards and the nice looking parallels with everything. So I have to get back to the have to back out of the draft mega. Don't have that much money right now. Sorry. No big deal. Farm League. I'll mark you off. That's no big deal. If you see something else you want, just let me know. I'll mark you off the mega. No big deal. <clears throat> uh, so that's a Kyle Duggar. And then we got a <laughs> Grant Delpit, I guess it is. Yeah. Grant Delpit is our rookie. So we got two rookies in that pack just because we had the green pulsar. Um, Jason Kelsey. Aaron Rodgers, that's a nice one. Nice Aaron Rodgers. Derrick Henry, a little nice good base there. Max Crosby, and there's Lamar Jackson. That's his, was it, third year card? Third year card, Lamar? So, eh, not the great optic cello pack, but I mean, can't complain too much. I pulled a Herbert out of, that's the fourth cello pack that I've opened now, and I've got one Herbert out of, so you can't complain much about that, I guess, right? Let's see what this hoops look like now. These are fat packs. Comes with 30 cards. I will tell you that they run the regular $9.99 plus your tax and stuff like that. Um, right there, Paul C. If you want any of that, just let me know and I'll mark you down. Um, there's only one uh, hoops plaster, uh, plaster, blaster out there. Um, you're probably not interested in that, but we got a bunch of tops Chrome update. Uh, Megas and Cellos, and of course the playbook for football, Contenders football, Tops Holiday at 28, you know, on down the line. So, but yeah, you let me know what you want, and I'll put her down there. Um, let's see if we can get with a little bit of the. Kind of loud, but maybe we can see something here of odds or something. It does say there's 270 cards. I know you can't see that very good, but it's 270 cards, uh, 200 base, 50 rookies, and 20 hoops tributes out of this. And then it's got your teal explosions. Um, on average, non-base cards are included approximately four in every pack is what it says. So, um, yeah, let's see what they look like. I'm kind of curious to see this. This is hoops, but the way the prices are going, in the secondary market, even hoops is real valuable, right? Down with some Chrome's update tonight. All right, just let me know, Chatty P, how many you want or whatever. Um, so there's a first look at them, the NBA hoops. That's a Kevin Porter Jr. right there. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's pretty good little layout, I guess, right? Not nothing real spectacular about it, but a good base on it. And the typical hoops on the back is always black and white, it seems like. But a little bit of stats there and so card stock is kind of thin so um yeah i can see these being hard to grade because of thin corners being uh banged up there's a rudy gay a luke canard jonathan isaac kelly obrey jr uh so sabonis I don't like, I, hate, I wish they would do something with these chromes at the bottom because all the chromes seem like are hard to read, even no matter what color you got it on, unless you get it on something like yellow, I guess, then you can see it a lot better. But Nicholas, what's that, Batum? 
John Collins, not a bad little player there. Uh, De'Aaron Fox, good player. Mike Conley. There you go. Look at there. That's his second year card of Zion Williamson. Right there. So, we're going to set that off to the side. Because, you know, rookie cards and second year cards are always going to be valuable. So, we'll set that nice little Zion NBA hoops right there. <clears throat> Wake Forest, John Collins. Oh, I know, I know. Uh, Brooks Lopez, Willie Colley Steins, RJ Barrett. It's a nice little second year RJ Barrett card. Put that out there. Uh, Morris, Kevin Durant, nice little KD. Josh Richardson, OG. What is this? O Onobi or something like that? Oh, well. Uh, Robert Covington. Uh, Jarrett Culver, that's his second year card as well. Seth Curry. The Mavs. And then this is something like lights, camera, action. And this is a Kimball Walker for the Celtics. All right. I don't know if that's going to be a short print or whatever, but it looks like I've got a frequent flyer here of who is this? Devon, uh, Devon Mitchell. Frequent flyer. Okay. All right, whatever. Um, what's the products you got in prices? Anthony, uh, right there they are, Bob. I don't know if y'all can see it. Can you not see that? Is it kind of blurry, I guess? Maybe I should get it a little closer. Probably should have put it in chat a little bit too, but oh, well, it is what it is. Um, we've got a lights, camera, action. This is another Kimball Walker here, but this is kind of like a, some type of parallel to it. It's not numbered. Um, still hunting this, our first rookie here. Uh, who's this? Zinke Najee, something like that. Rookie card. Okay. Don't know him. There we go. That's who it was after. That's one of them anyway. Look at that. So not in. All right. So I'm going to turn off this phone. So this is getting crazy. People is. There we go. All right. I'll set that off to the side, but get back to the James Wiseman right there. That's one of the cards that was after one of the top three rookies, I think, this year. Nice Latin. I will do one each chrome baseball. How long is the lineup so far? So, so far, we got James and Tom so far. Um, Chatty P. I will do one each chrome baseball. How long is the lineup? Okay, so you want a cello uh, and a mega, right? Chatty P. Chatty P. Wants a mega chrome and cello. Yeah, I'm not going to be on too long. Probably about an hour, hour and a half at the most, something like that. So we'll get through the packs pretty quick. Uh, James Wiseman, though. I like that car. Beautiful car. Kyrie Lewis. Eh, not, not a bad one for the Pelicans right there. Nice Kyrie Lewis. Precious, precious. A Congo. All right. And I don't know this guy. Leonardo, Bomaro, something like that, and a Terrell Terry. So, got a Wiseman out of that, so that's pretty cool. I like that. Cards ain't too bad. Like I said, it's it's hoops. It's the base product, so what do you expect, right? Nothing too crazy, I guess, all right? We'll set that in the background a little bit. Actually, we're just going to take the, we'll take the Zion back there. We'll take the rest of these out, and we'll use these for later. But nice little Zion right there and a James Wiseman. Let's put him in the background a little bit. Can't see him because it's blurred out anyway. But all right. I want a playbook hanger. Okay. Let's see. Here. Tom has a list of 50 items. <laughs> no, James. Uh, just simply, I don't see where the and there's a bongo coupon. Hey, that's coming through. It's coming through. Don't worry. It's coming through. I'm starting to send out bongo coupons. Uh, uh, or BOGO, whatever the hell they're called. I don't know. Um, Farm League wants a playoff hanger. Farm League. You want a playbook hanger. Okay, got you down. Uh, get the scraps after times anyway. Bungo. Okay, yeah, Bungo. There you go, yeah. All right, so the first one is that spoke up was James, and he wanted the Prism Baseball. All right, so let me find the Prism Baseball. There it is. Prism Baseball, right? All right. 
I'm going to set that off to the side, move that back a little bit, and we'll get into ripping a prism baseball for good old James Palmer. All right, get into ripping. Let's go. He loves hunting the prospects, James does. The good thing about this, you get one guaranteed auto on average. And, man, there's, I mean, if draft, Bowman draft is out of your wheelhouse, this is the second best product, I think, out there. Um, as far as prospecting on, because the cards are beautiful, um, and it has a lot of them on there. Almost every, I think every draft prospects out there. So, all right, let me get them all out of here, James. I can get in my fingers all in there. All right, so there we go, empty box, James. All right, throw that out of the way. Should have twelve packs. Three, six, three. Six. So there we go. Twelve pack. All right. We'll put you a little bit of stand there in case we hit something pretty sweet looking. All right. And we'll start ripping some packs. Uh, try my third cent Coles card with no luck. Yeah, that's that's tomorrow. Chatty P is when we're doing the Coles coupon. Yep. Coles coupons tomorrow. Prism Giraffe Baseball. Another. I have another one if you want one, Paul C. If that's what you're asking. All right, so I'm going to have to get up my cheat sheet on this in a little bit. I forget a lot of these people's names from time to time. All right, Xavier Warren. Now, I think we're after, who is it, Garrett Mitchell? Is that who he was after? We missed him last thing, so we're going to try to get him tonight. Right, James? I know. Pull the silver one. So pull the silver one. Okay, double the bang, all right? Evan Carter. Thomas Girard. Pete Crow Armstrong, I know that was up top. That's uh, number 19th of the Mets. I pulled that a lot. And the Gus Stinger, I know that he's way on down there. So, kind of look on the back. 92 draft, 50, 162, 179. That's not a very good one. So, I'll set them to the side. That was the bad pack. Payment for a Prism Draft Baseball. All right, Paul C., I got you down here then. Paul C., Prism Draft. Baseball mega. Okay. And I might have one, maybe one or two more. That's about it. I think something like that. But all right. That'll work. Yeah, it's it is. It's a lot better than when you get like the playbook and you get four packs. Yeah. That's why James likes it. You know that. He loves quantity. Come on now, Tom. You know that James loves quantity. Uh, Cole Henry. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, uh, Paul C. That, if you want the silver, there you go. There's your Ed Howard Fireworks silver. So that's a nice card. Nice one right there. Hunter Paxley and Tom has a big line. <laughs> Beckway Prism. Uh, Marco Raya and a Logan Hoffman. So we got a nice silver Ed Howard right there. Right here when he pulls the Mitchell Silver. Here you go. Yeah, exactly. Now you know he wants that. Now Patrick Bailey, he's on up there for the Giants, number thirteen overall, NC State guy. Not bad one right there. Patrick Bailey. We'll set him out here. Uh, Brolson, Sammy Infante. That's your purple. These are not numbered. Just your purple prism. Hudson Haskins. For some reason that name rings a bell. I don't remember where he got drafted at. And Tyler Brown. I oh, we should look on the back, see if we have any lower picks. And not on that one. I didn't look at the last pack before that. Eh, up in the hundreds. We're needing something low like a tor torkelson and stuff like that. What's up, Michael Heath? All right, Aaron Sabato with, okay, that comes off. All these chrome ones, man, it looks like they're big, long scratches, and a lot of it's just like, it looks like, almost like tire rubber on them or something like that. You can just wipe off, but Sabato, I think he was later round, first round. Kyle Nicholas. And look at there. This might be numbered. Keston Hearstad. 
Let's see. No, it's not. So this is just a prism. But I swear this is a different color. Maybe that's just the way it looks. But a nice Keston, uh, Heston Kirstad anyway. Nice one right there. Set that out there. Patrick Bailey goes there. Here's that goes there. David Calabrese and Joey Weimer. So, yeah, 27th. I know he was top of the right around the top. So my first, is this a dragon? Is that a dragon prism? I have no idea. Could be. It could be a unicorn prism for all I know. But I know it's definitely looks like a different color. For sure, because you see, maybe it's the same. I don't know. This seems like it's more reddish, and this seems like it's more purple. I don't know. Maybe it's just my eyes. Who knows? It might be the same. Crap, I don't know. All right. Burl Caraway, again. Kate Michaels. Michaels. Austin Wells. Number 28, right at the end of the first round. I've never seen this one before. Wiener Bait Blakely. You got a wiener. You got a wiener, James. Look at there. And then Austin Hendricks. Austin Hendricks. Got you a wiener, James. They are getting old. I mean, I am going to be a grandpa for too long, right, Jacob? All right. James wants a dragon prism and a tiger stripe front. There you go. That's a nice one. A Zach Veen right there. A nice Zach Veen. So the Rockies number nine overall. Beautiful card there. Nice good base of Zach Veen. Nick Sweeney. Bailey Horn. I don't know nothing about Bailey Horn. It's probably because he's like a water around 142. Let's see where this other cat, cat is. 67. So second round. Uh, Mason Hickman and Matt Manning. Vanderbilt. Still, Austin Wells is the Yankees' first round pick. Yeah, I know he was right around there, but he was later on in the draft. Just can't remember exactly where at. I was going to go in and say he was on the way to was on the way to the hospital. <laughs> I'm sure Cindy would already know that. So. Uh, Jesse Franklin. And we got a silver here. Tanner Burns. That's one of your silvers right there that you're guaranteed, I think, two. 36, so that's what, at the end of the first round? I think that was a sub-draft. Who'd he go to? I'm curious now, Tanner Burns. Tanner Burns went to the Indians. Right-handed pitcher to the Indians in the first round. Kind of like the bonus round pick. Justin Foskey, now that's a nice one. Justin's a good little player. Right around 14th pick overall in the draft to the Rangers. Nice Justin Foskey there. And that's your dragon. It's your dragon right there. Uh, I'm going to get the... RVA. RVA. Before you do that, did you see the email that I sent you? I think that I've got your cards here. Uh, RVA. Uh, just the only thing I'm waiting on, I think, is the shipping. And I'm going to get your cards out. But I think I sent you an email. Um, to you. Make sure that uh, you check your email. All right, buddy. Uh, here's the Garrett Mitchell card are hard to pull. Shoot me an email. Sure. Okay. All right. Um, I don't know who this guy is, but Jeremy something another. AJ Vukovic. AJ Vukovic. Where's he at? I know he wasn't in the very first of the round, but got a nice little power surge right there for him. No problem, RBA. Hey, it's no big deal. I just, I've been trying to get up with you. I thought you was going to be in the last stream and you wasn't. So I figured, I, you know, I put me a little sticky note right here. Um, RBA. <laughs> so that next time you pop on the shit, uh, pop on, I'll be able to mention it to you and everything. So Jared Schuster, David uh, Calabrese, again, Dane Dunning. Don't just stop screwing around and pull that Mitchell. I don't know. It's, well, I am magic hands. I might be building it up. I don't know. Nick York, Zach Daniels. We ain't got him yet. Jared Schuster, Wake Forest guy. Demon Deacons. He can't be too good. <laughs> 31. Jared Mitchell. 
what I'll probably do is just switch it up and give it to uh, Tom. The 2021 Top Series 1 Rip Party tomorrow night. I won the Oakland Athletic Stammers. All right. Hudson Haskins. And we've got an auto right there. So I'm going to set that down. There's another AJ Vukovic or Yukovic. That's the Dragon Parallel, right? <laughs> Luke Little, hometown North Carolina guy. And Stevie Emanuels. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got here. Let's see if it's going to be a low number, first of all, a draft number. Well, it's not one of the top ones, but at least it's a second rounder, which has got potential, I guess. Let's see if it's a name we know. Isaiah Green. Isaiah Green. Don't know of Isaiah Green, but let's check it out on my cheat sheet. Figure out where he went to. It was definitely the second round. Mets out of high school. Right. Right. Where are you at? North Carolina Stemmers in North Carolina. A nice little Isaiah Green. We'll go ahead and sleeve that up in the way. We'll put it out here in front of Patrick Bailey. Still got three packs. And we're still looking for the Garrett Mitchell, right? We missed him in the first blaster or mega. I'm sure it's going to pop up in Paul C's probably. Hunter Barnhart. Uh, Win. Zach Deloach. Now he's kind of high up. No, 43. I was wrong. Sorry. Kyle Hurt. And Nick Gonzalez. We're getting close. Garrett Mitchell's close to Nick Gonzalez, right? Mm, excuse me. It's pretty close. <laughs> nice Nick Gonzalez. Where did he get drafted at? He was up at the top, wasn't he? Yeah. Pirate 7 overall. A nice one. We'll sit it over here next to Justin Foskey. Two packs left. Clayton North Carolina outside of Raleigh. There you go. Been in that way many a time. Austin Hendricks. We got a some type of green behind it. Austin Hendricks. Number 12th overall. Where'd he go to? Cincinnati Reds. Pete Crow Armstrong. That's a nice one. Green variation. Pete Crow Armstrong to the Mets. 19th pick overall. Nice one. And we got the same guy, Aaron Sabato. Nice Aaron Sabato right there. RJ and Case Williams. So it's going to come down to the last pack to see if we can get that darn Garrett, man. It's just going to go up in front of Ed Howard. P. Crow will go out here. And Austin Hendricks is 12, so we're going to put him up there. So we got a bunch of good top 20 players, just not the one. Tanner Burns to Farm League. Tanner Burns. Mm. Tanner Burns. Tanner Burns. Tanner Burns. All right. Was it, was it that far back? That one right there, the silver. I think it's the one you're talking about. Confirm that, James. And I'll do it. Get a little marker right here. Watch him grow up. Well, you got a nice silver of him right there. Arm Lee from James. So you grew up watching him. Good little picture, Tanner Burns. I'll set him off to the side. We got our last pack to try to get the elusive Garrett Mitchell. All right. <clears throat> Isaiah Green. Jordan Michael or Mickel. And look at that. Now, I'm going to tell you what, that might not be a Garrett Mitchell, but that's a good consolation gift right there. Spencer Torkelson. And that is your dragon, <laughs> your dragon parallel. <laughs> nice Spencer Torkelson there. That's a nice little hit right there. Old Torque with the 
I don't know what even what that parallel is called. I'm sure it's on the box. I just didn't pay any attention. What is this called? Let's see. Um, hyper. It's called a hyper red and purple parallel. Yep. Hyper red and purple parallel is what it's called. And you got it in the torque right there. Sweet dragon. <laughs> you got a sweet dragon out of it. We'll do him up right there, put him in front of the Sabato. We still got two cars. I don't think we're going to get anything else, but Robert Hassel and mm, Torlentino. 69 pick, 124. So we're still missing the Garrett Mitchell, but I guarantee you that possibly that right there might be a good trade if Paul Curry gets it. Might be a good trade bait right there. So we'll get this out of the way and take a look right quick of what you got. And I'll just leave a lot of these up later. But still got Austin Hendricks right there. Nick Gonzalez, nice one. Justin Foskey. All these are first round draft picks. Zach Veen, an up air tie at the top. A green Peak Pro Armstrong. Keston Hearstad. Isaiah Green Auto. That's the only one that's in second round. Patrick Bailey. Ed Howard Silver. Spencer Torque. Dragon. <laughs> and Aaron Sabato. So. Not a bad little blaster right there, or mega, I should say. Let me put old James Palmer's name on that. James P. Right there. Get that out of there. All right, that's cool. There you go, James. Sweet dragon. It looks like dragon scales. <laughs> All right, we'll put that out of the way for you, James. And we'll get into, I think, the next one that claimed it was Tom. I assume, Tom, you want to do the Thompson Mega Box first, then the Hoops Blaster. Save the best till last. I'm assuming that's what you would want to do. So let's get in with a Thompson Chrome Blaster first. You're welcome, James Palmer. Get that out of the way. Did everything sell out for tonight? No, it didn't. It didn't kind of sell out at all. There was some, a couple people. Now, Farm League, you didn't send any payment, did you? I didn't check PayPal. You didn't send any payment for the breaks. I hope you didn't anyway. Um, but if you did, I can always refund you. So, um, but either way, but no, it didn't sell out hardly at all. I think maybe people was kind of down on the Blaster Wars a little bit, which is fine. They said they'd rather have to do a team break. I just thought they'd want to do a change. But it's no big deal. We'll tackle it next week. I will probably off next week for sure, though. This will be my only stream for this week. I might do one later on this week. I don't know, but um, I definitely won't do one next week because I'll be in Florida visiting Chapin. And maybe they'll be having the baby pop out by then. So any tops corn. We got plenty of it, RDA. Plenty of it. The cellos are um, 16 and the mega boxes are 30. There's your whole pack right there box tom should be seven packs and it is nice seven packs at the bottom one mm, i don't think so i don't think it's real sick could be wrong though all right first baby coming soon that's right michael heath i do not i do not have a website i basically just come on and when i get enough um products and stuff like that that i can share with the community and put them at a decent price um, that's what I try to do. And so that's just some of the personal rips right there you can do tonight. I should have put it in the, um, thing below, but that's kind of that. And it doesn't focus too well back here in the background, but maybe just a little bit it does. I don't know, but, but yeah, so you just basically submit PayPal friends and family and, um, yeah, just tell me what you want and I'll write you, uh, write your name down. Uh, I'll grab a mega and a cello. Is that cool? RVA. A mega and a cell. You sure can, RVA. I'll put you down here, RVA. You want a mega and cello of update. Tops. Okay. I got you down, RVA. All right. Let's go, Tom. Here we go. Anthony Rendon. The first card we got. We got a nice King Griffey Jr. That's your silver or hollow, whoever you want to call it, refractor. Anthony Rizzo and Cameron Maben. Now, isn't Cameron Maben the trigger card and update of regular 
or Randy Rosarena. I don't think it is in Tops Update, but we could be wrong. Is that in the lights? Yes, it is. It'll be my first. Tommy Pham. Mike King, rookie card. Rich Hill. And a Chris Bryant. No bangers quite yet. I had a card that I wanted to show everybody, but I don't know what I did with Oh, yeah, here it is. Take a look at this. This is an update. See, look at this. Notice anything weird about this card? Look at the bottom of it. All of them made like that? Look, it's like this All-Star should be over here, and this should be filled out or something. I don't even know what that is compared to, like, see the rest of them? See? I grabbed that, I ripped this pack, and I was like, what the hell is that at the bottom? It's almost like a plate of something. I don't remember seeing it on Altuve before. Kind of weird looking. I don't know. But I just thought that was weird. I pulled that pack last week or something like that when I was ripping. Uh, that's a base. Is it the base? Is it really? No. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. I thought all along because... Why has it got kind of like a little lip there? You see how the lip goes up? I thought it was like a plate. But I guess you're right. It is probably a base. I don't know why it's got like a little box behind it or in front of it or something like that. Unless I've got a stamp on the base or something like that. I don't know. I just thought it was a plate or something. I thought it was weird. Oh, well. So, huh, okay. Second base. I have to take Dwight to find some cards next week while he's here. You darn right he does. Sent money for tonight. Just deduct tonight's hanger. Okay, I'll send it back from you, uh, Farm Lee. I'll do that. All right, next pack. Caesar Hernandez. And you got a refractor here. Well, the refractor is a decade's next, which I love these cards, but a Flatty Jr., decade's next. Acuna, man. How lucky is Tom to get an Acuna? And a Vladdy. I mean a Vladdy, but a uh, Yachty Molina. Look at there. You can get a sleep with that, Tom, just because it's McCune. You're a lucky guy. This is a flash of the camera. Yep, I might be. I'm going to withdraw. Yeah, exactly. It's the base of the cameras in the base. Yeah. yeah. All right. Nice little Gavin Lux right there. His car prices are starting to climb a little bit now with anticipation. Uh, Alex Bregman, A. Bregg, and Albert Puros, and a Johnny Davis rookie card. So no heat other than the Aquino so far. You get three more packs, Tom. He's not no loser. You know better than that. Aquino is nothing but a winner. All right. Pistol Pete. Ricky Cup. And we've got a Ryan Samberg behind the numbers. Old Rhino. And right behind it is an Ichiro and a Jesus Aguilar. Two more packs for Tom. Then we get the blaster of Hoops. Cespedes. And we got a backwards card there, so that's real good. Aguilar again. I don't know why. And Mills, Ricky card. But we do have a backwards card. Of course, we're going to make Tom wait. I'm not going to show it to him right away. That would be insane to do something like that. Let the pressure build up a little bit. Mark McGuire, Chris Paddock, decades next. Nice Chris Paddock card. A Dyson and. Oh, Nico Horner. That's not bad. Got a couple consolations with a Nakunya and a Gavin Lux and Nico Horner. But you do have a backwards card here behind. Looks like it's going to be like that. Mm, I don't even know if this 
this is going to be well, it is it is an auto i don't know if you like sing Su chu but it is an auto look at that auto though what is that it looks like a bunch of it looks like one of those um, earthquake things that graph that goes up and down and numbers go up and down and everything like that kind of weird womp womp yeah <laughs> look at that auto the seismograph he's got a seismograph auto but it does have his number there i think it says try to put 17 right there number 17. so since you chew that's a true scribble it is so it is an auto though i mean pulling an auto out of a mega box is not an easy feat in itself but oh well all right so he was after the hoops mega box I told him i would put one out there for someone to claim and we'll rock and roll with this but good luck on this one tom 32 cards in this bad boy hoops premium stock I know he wants a jaw. I know he wants a Zion. A good consolation would be a Kobe White. Heck, even a Luca. Uh, RJ Barrett. Um, LeBron. All these cards are going up in price. All right, here we go. I was going to be worse, better than initials. Yeah. Turner's a great hitter. Will be a good addition. James, maybe the brace is on Justin Turner. I like him as a real Sin Cincinnati. All right. First pack for Tom. All right. So it looks like we got a silver in the back. So that's good. Now it's just depending on get this out of the way. I feel like I'm kind of cramped here a little bit. The cards everywhere. Miles Bridges. Dylan Brooks. Allen Iverson. It's in the rookie location. NBA hoops. Is that? With the Nuggets, I think. Gary Harris. So it's not the one we wanted. It's not a rookie. It's Gary Harris. Only gets about 15 points a game. But it is a pretty card. Just not the one we was after. That one just disintegrated right there. That pack. What was it gonna do? All right, here we go. I mean, this thing just come apart everywhere. Miles turned for a minute there. I thought that was Wiseman. I'm like, how in the world did he get in here? It looks like James Wiseman right there. Uh, I don't know that guy at all. Gorgie Ding. Daniel Gafford's rookie. Getting drafted right after Kobe White. And backstage pass Draymond Green for the Warriors. Backstage pass. It looks weird, doesn't it? Look a little hanger. It's like a pass. They're going to need a great third baseman now. So glad we got this in four more years. Let me take second. How about my buck in here? Maybe champs again. Rays are trying to go after uh, Jose uh, Ramirez. Justin Winslow. We do have a silver at the back again. Willie Colley Steins. Mike Scott. Now, this silver is in the location of where a rookie card will be, but it is a Kings. Buddy Heald. Silver. Buddy Heald Silver. 20 points last year on average, but still not the person we're after. Next pack. I that too shaky. All right. Thon Maker. I knew he was after him. Bradley Beal, Quindary Weatherspoon is our rookie, and we got a Thon Maker again, green prism. Pistons. Now, I opened up one solo pack of this about a week ago and got a silver Zion. So I don't know what the problem is here, Tom, but you better start stepping it up here a little bit. Prince. DeAndre Ayton's not bad. Roja, uh, Rajon Rondo. And we've got another. Here, this is a Rockets here, though. Jeff Green. 
beautiful car, but man, we can't get the hits on the good person that we want. Jeff Green for the Rockets, 12 points a game. What Jeff Green gets. My problem, you're the one ripping gnarly fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Victor Oladipo, uh, Noel. There you go. It's not the base. It's not the base, but it still is a rookie card of John Morant. The tribute, John Morant. Probably the second most favorite card in the set. And then look right behind it. You got a he got game. We got next Zion Williamson NBA Hoops. That's a cool looking card right there. Like a rookie card insert. I don't know if there's a that's an SP or nothing like that. I don't think it is, but still a cool looking card. A Zion in a job in the same pack. We want the base and we want it in silver, but that's good consolation gifts, I guess, right there. I'll set them right there. Two more packs. Two more packs. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Denzel Valentine. We got another silver in the back back here. Marvin Bagley. A good little player. I like Marvin Bags. Admiral Schofield is our rookie card. Let's see if we can get a back to back. Uh, not bad. Damian Lillard. Silver. Trailblazers. Good player. I mean, heck, he's averaging over, what was it, 28 points a game? Something like that on average. Silver, Damian Lillard, nice card. Damian Lillard, last pack. We got a job. We got a Zion Williams, but we want the base in a silver or some type of parallel to really hit it home. But I can tell you right now, that right there, I'll be willing to bet you it's at least a $10 card. Raw, LeBron James. His card prices are going up a lot. I'm going to sleep, LeBron. Him and Luca. Luca's because of second year. But a nice LeBron, Lakers. All right, Moon Day and Cavaliers, McKinney, and our green is I have no uh, Troy Brown Jr. He gets a whopping four points a game. He's a straight baller. Straight baller. Well, you got a little piece of the pie there, Tom. A little jaw, a little Zion insert rookie card, Damian Lillard silver. And a LeBron James. I definitely would look at possibly grading at least the LeBron out of that. Maybe the John and the Zion as well. All right. Put down here for Tom Edwards. He was pulling the parallels just like he did in the Mega. And you even got that nod in the Mega. Just not what we wanted. 100% anyway. <coughs> All right, Tom. We got you out of the way. I'll hit to the next one. You want something else? You let me know. Put Tom down. Junior can actually play. He started some minutes. You're welcome, buddy. Agree with Chapin. What did Chapin say? Or third baseman and relief pitcher. I agree with that. Yep. All right. Who's up next? We got. Um, Actually, it was Farm League was next. He just jumped down. He had to go from a uh, basketball mega to a playbook hanger. I think is what he wanted. Playbook hanger. All right. So we got you down, Farm League, for a playoff hanger. We'll get to ripping that, and then we're going to go into Chatty P next. Let me find my razor here. Yes. All right. Hanger box, exclusive purple parallels, a playbook. This is the newest. Well, Optic is our newest. This is our second newest, I guess, is Playbook. <coughs> you can still find it coming around a little bit if you're able to get it at the retail, but um, it's still dropping a little bit. Not much, though. Not like it was a week ago. All right, looking for what? Our exclusive purple parallels on the inside. Exclusive rookie. 30 cards per pack. Nice little hanger there for Farm League. Let me, let me, let me, let me. 
All right, nice good thick pack here. Got some base, and we'll get into some rookies in there. Got a Stefan Diggs. Who is this? Darren Waller. Hard to see these cards. Oh my gosh. Mitch Trubisky. Philip Rivers. Now retired. Julio Jones. There's a nice Lamar Jackson. A nice Lemar. And we've got a who's that? Terry McLaurin. Gardner Minshew, porn stash. Terry Bridgewater. Sam Darnold. Nick Bosa. Danny Dimes. Melvin Gordon. Aaron Jones. Not a bad little Aaron Jones right there. And then we got a Aaron Donald right behind it. Dak. And then our next up rookie card is of AJ Dillon. You usually get one of these per hanger. Your next up. So it's a sweet looking cards. I think uh, I think I pulled the Chase Chase Young that I gave last week. I gave that to Tom. But AJ Dillon's a nice one. Zoning commission of Joe Mixon. A zoning commission of Ronald Jones. And these are these blitz cards. So it's got some type of I won't turn it over to Mitch Trubisky. He's got some type of blitz number on the back when you play the game or something. I don't know. Uh, Tyler Johnson, rookie card. Who is this? Freddie Swain. Willie Gay Jr. I thought that was going to be a Clyde Edwards Hilaire there for a minute. And that's a nice one to get at. It's a nice Jalen Hurts rookie card. His cards are actually starting, if not already, it has already surpassed Tua's card as far as value now. So the ranking of the quarterbacks is Hurts, excuse me, not Hurts, but um, um, crap, I can't even think. Um, oh, Herbert, there we go. It's Herbert Burroughs, Jalen Hurts, Love, and Tua are about this tied right now as far as the value of quarterbacks right now in the market of basketball. Uh, baseball. And then we've got a who's that? Linskin rookie card. And then you go back into your base. You got a purple a Juju Smith Schuster. Sometimes you get one rookie card in the purple. We'll see. Teddy Bridgewater. Sam Darnold. And this is our rookie. Josh Uchi is our defensive end. That's our oh we got another one. Tristan Wirfs, I guess. Wirfs. I don't know. But that Jalen Hurts is a nice one. Let's put it off to the side. The good old farm league. And also going to put the Tanner Burns in the group. Nice little hanger rip right there. You did pull one of the five rookie cards that you wanted out of it, which is the Jalen Hurts. The third or fourth, however you want to see it, best quarterback. And we got farm league done. You mark off Farm League. Playbook hanger. Got you down. Was played in the Super Bowl. Yes. Did he? Works. Pay attention to that. Put the uh what am I missing there? Oh, 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 Buccaneers. Okay, okay. Defensive tackle. Okay. Could be thrown off there for a little bit. Right tackle. Okay. All right. Who's up next? We got Chetty P. has got the Mega Chrome and then the Cello of Tops Update Chrome. Let's start off with the Cello, Chetty P. Chetty P., you are in the chat, correct? I remember seeing him in there a little while ago. There he is. You need the Roberts out of this. Shouldn't be a problem, right, Magic Hands? Of course not. Matter of fact, I'll probably even pull you a uh, a Garrett Mitchell right out of this. That's how good I am. I can, like, you know, throw stuff into packs that normally is not in there. I can do that. I mean, ask James Palmer. He'll agree with that. <laughs> All right, Chetty P starts off with the King Griffey Jr. All-star game. And look at there. 
out of the first cello pack, a JT Real Muto. Wasn't he in the headlines as far as being trades or trade talk or something like that? And he's got another weird type of auto too. But man, a mega box and a prism hanger and had an auto in each one of them. Man. Oh, look, and it's numbered. 66 out of 100. Nice. Nice. JT. Real milk dough. Resigned with the Phillies. Okay. I noticed one thing. Man, that's a thicker color than normal. I mean, they're already thick cars, but that's even a thicker one for some reason. Let me set that out of the way. Get a stand right there for JT. All right. We want a Cespedes and a Mark McGuire. Man, the correlation in Tops Update from what little I've opened is terrible, man. You can get like, in a mega box, you can get like two Boba Shets, two Lewises, or you can get like two common cards. It seems like a lot. It seems like it's happened some. <clears throat> James Burr would like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, the uh, Kipnis, Cesar Hernandez, and you get you a Gavin Lux. Nice Gavin Lux. Right there. Sleeve up old Gavin. Put him out there. Car prices going up on Gavin. Nestor Cortez. And look at that. Hank, Hank Aaron, 44. Behind the numbers. Gotta love old Hammer and Hank. A Brig. Pistol Pete. Hmm, excuse me. Miss old Hank Aaron. We'll put him up there regardless. He deserves it, right? All right. Pink. Oh, he gets two. Two pinkies. He hasn't actually done anything yet. I don't, I don't know why. It's just because of the anticipation and people's got to hunt for something. So, but I have noticed his price is going up a lot. I wouldn't say a lot, but going up. Man, look at that Shady P. Oh, my goodness. An auto, a Lux. A Hank Aaron and now a purple Ronald Acuna Jr. And a Yachty Molina. Look at that. A time, time to sell. I mean, they're not going up crazy prices. They're just, I've seen them go up in, in, as far as price wise. They're not doubling or tripling or nothing like that. They're like, if it was, let's say, $3, they're selling for now like 5 and $6 or something like that. Hank Aaron to Farm League. We'll give away the hammer and hank to farm lee we'll do it and it's got my thumbprint right there so it's actually worth more because it's got my thumbprint right there all right so that's going to hopefully get a shot this year yep so we'll see here from chatty p to farm league Only. I'll say one thing. Mrs. G's probably got me on handwriting, but that's pretty good for a man. <laughs> All right. And we got the Mega Box. Chatty P. Yes, let's set these cards off to the side and get into the Mega Box. Good luck, Chatty P. Need to pull. The Louis Roberts and this bad boy be nice. Dwight's added value. Darn right. Always add value. I mean, my thumbprint's on something. You can guarantee a car tripling in value. Easy. What's up, St. Louis Cardinals fan? Come on, Lou Bob. Todd Frazier. Looks like he's getting ready to go to the bathroom. He's holding it back. Look at there. It's a nice one. Kyle Lewis, 2020. Decades next. Nice. Jerry Lewis card right there. Look at there. Shalani comes in and we pull a Jerry Lewis. Can you believe that? And we got a Buster Posey and a Glaber Day. Nice Glaber Day. Next pack. I love the decades. Yeah. 
I liked them before they was chrome, though, to be honest with you. And there you go. There's your bow. You got your bow of shit. Nice bow. I personally think better of Boba Shit than I do Lou Bob, but I think a lot of people's cooled down on Lou Bob, but I think now's a good buy time for Lou. I think he's gone down a little bit of price. Uh, Wilmer Flores, another King Griffey Jr., and a David Ortiz. David Ortiz. He'll trade me first so I need to tell. <laughs> and look at there. That's another one of the hits out of it. Notice no rookie debut or nothing like that. That is your Chrome Randy Rosarena right there. So a nice. So you get a Boba Shet, a Kyle Lewis, and a Randy Rosarena out of it. Behind the numbers, Tony Gwynn. Eric Davis. And Aaron Judge. I don't look at this. I don't think it's number. No. Tony Gwynn's not number. Just seemed like it was more refractory than normal. That chain Palmer. Get way back in line. About here. <laughs> All right. Neil Walker. Anthony Rendon. Sterling Castro. And Cody. Stashek, I think it is. Stashek, something like that. All right, next pack. Got a good deal on open up some wax. Yeah, got a pretty good little deal. Trade uses some of his trade bait to get him some wax, which is what you got to do sometimes. The barter system sometimes will always work. Right, Shalini? The barter system will always work sometimes. Hmm? 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 All right? Trade what you got. Products that you want. Right? <laughs> uh, Tommy Fan. And we got another Decades Best. You like those, don't you? Oh, yeah. I like them. I like all Prism cards. Uh, Brendan McKay. Decades Next. Rookie card. Nice Brendan McKay there. Uh, Josh Taylor and a Jonathan Villar. Uh, this one right here has gone up in value a lot. That's up to probably close to 30 bucks now, just about. Pretty close to it. Um, this is climbing up higher than you think. Greater PSA, they're going for about 350 now. I don't think this will be a 10, but it ain't too bad off. And this one, uh, raw, that's eh, not too bad, but. It's off a little bit. Don't know whether they'll get a 10, but it's still a silver, you know. Henry Ruggs, Jerry Judy's good. So, I don't know. I like the cards. I like the players. They just got to produce a little bit more next year. Can't hit, do a one-hit wonder, right? 35 for the Tom Brady. It's 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 at its height right now. I mean, it's going to go back down, but I'm going to hang on to it because it's Tom Brady a little bit. I need to start... Uh, I think everybody needs to start looking at um, retail this year's cards and quit paying these ungodly amount of prices for some of these rookies and invest in more of the vets and even some of the retired players a little bit more. More secure investment. Um, I don't know. That's just my opinion. Uh, Mike King, uh, Cesar Hernandez, if you think about it, uh, David Price. And there he is. Look at there. There we got him. Lou Bob. So you got a Randy Rosarena, a Boba Shet, a Gavin Lux, and a Lou Bob out of this one mega box. Man, I think it, other than the Jordan Alvarez, you punched all the key players out of this one mega box. And you got a Kyle Lewis, too. I forgot about that. And you got a Kyle Lewis. <laughs> but when I told you they come in packs, or oh, they come in dupes. Look right there. Gavin Lux. Another Gavin Lux. And we got something. Okay. I thought it might have been a, a sweet parallel or something like that. But that's just, just the base of the Jackie Robinson behind the numbers. Still a sweet looking card. Andrew McCutcheon. And a Javi Baez. 
So two Gavin Lux out of a cello and a blaster or a mega box, whatever you want to call it. Nice. So you got one for trade and one to keep, right? But yeah, investing in more solid players versus paying for these crazy rookies to go left and right. I don't know. And watch the market fluctuate up and down. I mean, you can't go wrong investing in Acuna. Can't go wrong invested in Soto, as, as hard as it is for me to say that, because Tom's in the chat. Uh, for Great Worthy, set aside the grow, uh, for Great Worthy, All right, Labor Day. Let me see here. Where is it at? You know how hard how hard it is to say that, especially with Tom in the chat. Where is it at? Where is he at? Where is he at? Where is he at? Oh, right there. Of course, the last card. Grade worthy and from Chad. Hmm. All right, I'll set you off to the side. Grade worthy. Thanks again, Chatty P. That goes to Farm League. We set that off to the side. All right, and this was all, yes. Yeah, okay, all right. I'm just gonna make sure I wasn't doing something crazy and I'll, of course I'll top load some more of these in a minute. You better get your clan war in. No, don't you worry, I'm going, oh, Kumar. That's Kumar's in here. Gorb is in here. I, I've got, uh, I've got till like 11.30, so I got like, uh, one, two, I got two hours yet. So I plan on staying on here probably another 30 minutes. I got three attacks again. I got to win it for the group, for the thing. That's how I roll. Uh, soon you will get a call to share your credit card number. <laughs> <laughs> Old Gore. This is Chatty P. All right. Thank you, Chatty P, for joining in. I'm going to set that over in your stack now. You have your stack along with the other ones. That I got in the back from prior breaks. And Chatty P is done. Let's see if I missed any chat. Uh, you, get, you want another cello, Chatty P? Yeah, I get you another cello. Is that what you want? I missed it. I missed it, Chatty P. Let me see, where are you at? Uh, Chatty P, where are you at? Where are you at, Chatty P? I don't even see it. So. Where the hell is Can we do one more so okay i see it now i'm sorry i skipped over it chatty p and you even had it highlighted too sorry i'll get you another cello in here chatty p all right here we go add this to the stack chatty p one more cello for chatty p get three packs and then our ever so pinkish right all right Kinda Med, a silver Ricky Henderson behind the numbers. I don't know why I say silver. All of them are like that, chrome refractors. Uh, Derek Jeter, and a Pedro Martinez. Pedro Martinez. I'll just send that extra buck to send this to whatever. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it, Chatty P. Don't worry about that, Bo. Thank you, though. Zach Green, a rookie card. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that. And a camo uniform, too. That's a sweet-looking card. Tatis Jr. Another possible solid investment, but not as proven yet quite as, I think, Acuna and Soto. But definitely right up there. Let me go ahead and sleeve that bad boy. I know it's not his rookie card, but, man, that's a beautiful card. He goes up in value, and this is one of the cards that's probably going to come into tail end right behind it. Sterling Morte and a Kevin Pillar. All right. Keep lifting here. It's your nothing. <laughs> uh, Dario Agarol. Hunter Pence. Giancarlo Stanton. And a David Ortiz. So, 
can always pull fire. But let's see what we get into pinkies. Maybe make it up for a pinky. Another hundred pence. And get to my head again. Man, kind of a dupe in the pinkies. So not as definitely as hot hanger or cello as the last one. But you did get that nice Tatis. I do like that Tatis a lot. That's a sweet looking card. Fernando Tatis. Got a few miscellaneous rookies, as Oddball calls them. You're welcome, Chatty P. And, of course, you got your behind the numbers and the Jeter there as well. So, adding to your stack, Chatty P. Thanks again, buddy. Put you down here. Chatty P. And we got Paul C. and RVA. And... All right, Here's these tonight. All right, so Paul C got the Prism Draft baseball. Okay, is James Palmer still around? Is he kind of etching to see what you get? Paul Curry, he's probably hanging around saying, "I hope he pulls that Garrett Mitchell." If I can pull it out of here without tipping over some of my boxes. All right, all right, there we go. Got you a nice little prism thing here. Uh, did I get a spot in the NBA premium NBA draft pick? Left a message in the original stream. Brian, we have canceled the thing because it did not sell out. If you sent me money, Brian, I will definitely refund it. Or if you want to buy into one of these and put a credit towards that, if you've already paid it, then you can do that. Or I'll just refund your money. Either way, it doesn't matter. But we didn't have enough participation to basically do the uh, blaster battles. Um, so I auction, basically set up the blaster for sale, and I think Tom took it. So, but yeah. Didn't pay yet. One okay, all right. Okay, that's fine then. So just didn't have a lot of participation this time in blaster battles. I think a lot of people want to rip their own stuff or personal breaks or whatever versus, you know, blaster wars. Probably the only sucker in that is probably Shalani. Shalani loves doing wars. <laughs> so, got a nice good stack right there. There's some rookies. Uh, Prism Cellos again, do I think? Prism Cellos are price again. Uh, are you talking about? I will not be selling any more Prism. I can tell you that, Shalani. I'll probably be keeping that up. Or, or I'll price it where you don't want to buy. Let's put it like that. Yeah. How about that? They're going up quite substantially in price. Um, as you've seen, the Prism Draft of Blasters, or just the Prism Blasters, are getting close to 100 bucks now, and the Megas are over 200 So they're going really crazy, really crazy in price. So I like to hang on to them so that way I can have something to rip down the road a little bit, but I don't know. Who knows? I might open some of them up, but... I think I've got like two mega boxes and about three blasters and about three hangers. Is, I mean, three uh, cellos is all I got. So, cars are getting too expensive. Yeah. Uh, I have a feeling we're going to see a, a not a, a severe bubble bust, but I think we will see a downturn in car prices in about a year's time. But right now it's becoming too crazy. Tyler Keen, our first one. Brady Lindsley. Cole Henry. Is our dragon basically from what uh, um, what's his face says? Um, <laughs> James Palmer, Sammy Infante, and Austin Wells. Austin Wells is a nice one. 28th pick overall. I think that was your best one out of the pack. Yeah, as far as lowest pick anyway. So yeah, it's getting crazy expensive now. Yep. Yeah, it's no big deal, Brian. I've seen you seen that comment. Uh, Trevor. Oop, almost got that in the way. You got some points here, Paul. You got 400 points. So, believe it or not, you're not guaranteed an auto. I don't think in this, are you? Hold on a minute. Ah, take it back. You are. You're supposed to get one auto. So, instead... You got the 400 points. And I do want to point out that I still have 
this 600 points to give away. I haven't forgot about it. I will get the video out for the people that was in the baseball one last week. Not baseball, but football one last week. I've still got the names, so I will be doing a video. I haven't forgot about that. So you do get 400 points, Paul C, on that bad boy. Wish you got an auto, but it is what it is. That's like $30 worth of points. <laughs> so we'll set that off to the side. All right. I'm just proud that I was actually able to stop it from showing it because nine times out of ten, I always show it, it seems like. Uh, however, uh, Gage Workman, Dane Dunning, and Zach Deloach. 43 pick is about the best lowest one you've got, I think, right there in Jack Deloach out of that pack. Still plenty of packs to go, though. Available worth of points, though. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad in points. Uh, Jackson uh, Wynn. Patrick Bailey's not bad. That's the same one we pulled before, but this one right here is your um, Dragon, right? Oh, you got your base, Pencil Torque, right there. A nice one. So you did get this Pencil Torque, Torkelson. I always have a tongue twister with that one. Levi Perrette. 93 pick. And then... 13th on Patrick Bailey, which is a nice one as well. Nice Patrick Bailey. Going on. What's up on the hobbyist? How are you doing, the hobbyist? You doing all right tonight, buddy? Attention, hello. All right. Spencer Strider. David Calabrese. Another Daniel Cabrera. Fireworks. Nice red and the laser. Tanner Burns and Bryce Jarvis. Bryce Jarvis. Tanner Burns, 36. 18 is Bryce Jarvis. Duke. Arizona Diamondbacks. That's why you don't hear about me too much. Because he went to the Diamondbacks, right? 18th pick in the draft. All right. Next pack. Fixing the collar tonight. Yeah, me too. I ain't going to be on here too much longer. Probably another, got another couple here to rip, and we'll be done for the night. Ian Anderson, I you don't know how happy I am. His cards are anticipated to go up a lot, and I got the one-on-one -one first moment of that. So, real excited to hang on to that, Ian Anderson. And believe it or not, I think I either, I think I pulled that on Gourmet one night. So, love that card that I got. Jones, the fourth. I don't even know why. He's like the fourth round pick. Alex Burleson. Drew Romo. And Solaire. 59 pick. 59 pick. But yeah, at that time when we pulled Ian Anderson, he was still in the farm system. And he come up one time and I think went like 0 for 1 with like a 7 ERA. And I was like, well, what the hell? That ain't worth a crap. And then sure enough, he kind of blew up this year a little bit and showed that he's got a lot of a lot of promise so we'll see it was a shortened season so you never know jordan westberg nick will kevin nick york you know he's kind of low 17 boston red sox b Sox, right there and anthony something or another sir video or Biddy, right? 106, 135, and 74. Illinois College. You know, you got a lot of promise when you play ball for Illinois College. I have many of these moments. I have many of these Bowman colors. Yep. Yep. She's back here sneezing in the background. Uh, Zach Britton. We got a silver, and we get two of these per box. Daniel again. Cabrera. 62 and another Sabato and Corman and a Jordan Wong, something like that. 136, 62, 27, 31, 88 draft picks. Still about halfway through, got five more packs to go. That's my wife in the background. All right, Alicia Williams. Got another silver here. 
Zach Britton. I told you, man, these things come in correlation. You'll get a Zach Britton base. Two packs later, you get a darn silver. But 136. Alika Williams ain't bad, though. Uh, never heard of this guy. Jeremy Yellen, something like that. 118th pick. Bradley Beasley. And there he is. Ocelacy. That's a nice one. Fourth pick in the draft. Texas A&M. A little lefty action. Going to the Texas, where do you get to? Is it the Martin? No, Kansas City Royals. That's who it was. Key Royals. Kansas City Royals. Oscillacy. Powerful lefty. Texas A&M. 2.13 ERA in college. Kind of low. Kind of low. All right, next pack. Paul C. Got a brand in there. And this one's upside down, so this is going to be a, a numbered card. I'd be one to bet you. Burl Caraway, Daniel Cabrera. Oh, look at there. Look at there. Look at there. James, you know this guy? You seen him before? Now. Now. Might want to talk to uh, Paul C., a little bit about some trade bait right there for that silver Ed Howard, maybe. When we still got, Paul, a number card here. Uh, face don't ring a bell. Casey Martin. Nice little Casey Martin hit. Second round. No, well, I think it would be like the beginning of the third round. I think it would be 19 out of 50. Casey Martin, Arkansas. I don't know much about Casey Martin, but still a beautiful card. That's the same design of your Ed Howard that you got that's coming in that's autoed, the donut circles. But it was out of, no, it was out of 52, I think it was. Yeah, it was out of 52. It's a nice card, beautiful card. Nice little SP, this RBA. Two James. Man. You see that, James Palmer? He's given up his hit to you. Look at that. What a nice guy the mayor is. Right? Two James. P. From the mayor. Look at that. Nice little Garrett Mitchell. Let's set that off to the side. I'm going to set it right there. Let y'all look at it. All right. Next pack. Austin Martin Fireworks. Nice little Austin Martin Fireworks right there. Hudson Haskins. 39th pick, so that would be the very end. No, the very beginning of the second round. Very beginning of the second round. Went to the Orioles. Nice Hudson Haskins there. I'm going to sleeve that up. Nice Hudson Haskins right there. And we got an AJ Vukovic. AJ, look at there. You got a Trent James. It even looks like James Palmer. James' brother, right there. Trent. And a Jake Vogel. When you're done, give that edge over to Paul Curry. I will do that, sir. I will do that. Get him a nice little silver Ed Howard. And look at there. You get you a Wander Franco as a result of that trade. Nice little Wander Franco. Nick Lofton. Thunderstruck. Look at there. That's a nice one. A Zach Veen Prism. Ninth pick in the draft. Zach Veen promising to hit some mad dingers over in Colorado. Boy, he looks like a little skinny guy, though, doesn't he? You know, he looks like a little eight-year-old playing Little League, don't he? You don't got much to him right there. He needs to put on some weight. What do you think? 
Jeff Criswell. And look at there. You got him. You got him. You got your Ed Howard. Nice Ed Howard. We're going to sleeve up an old Ed Howard for, we'll sleeve up more later, but got to put old Ed Howard in there. For Tom, I mean, for uh, the mayor, right? This has been a pretty good little mega box here. I mean, you, you, you didn't get an auto because you got the 400 points, but I guess they give you some decent hits behind it. Gavin Stone, Austin Wells, Marco Rea. Trey Cruz and Jordan Westbrook, 30th pick, late first round. So, not a bad little blaster there or mega box. A lot of good little hits out of it. One of them you gave away to Paul C., I mean, to uh, James in a trade. But you turn around and got a bunch of good hits in return. Ed Howard, Hudson Haskins, S. Lacey, Nick York, Tim Torkelson, Patrick Bailey. Bryce Jarvis. And then you've got Austin Wells. I need to sleeve him up, put him in there as well. And then James Palmer gets to Garrett Mitchell, and you give and he gives you another Ed Howard silver. So nice little rip, Paul C. Put your name down here on this stuff. You're welcome, buddy. Thank you. Nice box for sure. these out of the way. Man, I got a pile of papers behind me. Cats playing with them. Cats playing with my papers? Mm -hmm. I said, you got a lot of mess to clean up here now. No, I don't think so. Y'all hear that right? That's a negative. Mm -hmm. All right, Paul C. We got you done now. RVA, you want the Mega and a Cello, right, RVA? Mega and a Cello. You still in the chat, RVA? Mega and a Cello. Set that off to the side there. Have you shipped the January breaks yet? Yes, Lewis. They went out um, last Monday. So if you haven't gotten them yet, you should be getting it very soon. Um, just based on the awesome mail service that we have. But yes, Lewis, they were sent out. Yep. All right. Here we go. If you need me to give you the... Um, Thank you, RBA. Um, if you need me to give a tracking number, Lewis, let's say you don't get it by like Tuesday or Wednesday, say like Wednesday this week, reach out to me on an email. Uh, my email is also my PayPal address, and um, I'll get you that tracking. Um, and so I think tonight I'll go in there and check as well. See if I can check to see where it's at. Sometimes it shows like, oh, it's in shipment and it's delayed somewhere or something. So, but yeah, I can get that to you. All right, RBA, here we go. Sterling Castro. And we got to start it off with a Decades Next 2020 uh, Walker Bueller. Nice little Walker card there. CJ Crone. And Alex Verdugo. Didn't his cards go crazy at one point in time this year? I thought he did. Or maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. I don't know. All right, here we go. Package from last month. Um, you just started moving again after a week. Post office struggling out there. Oh yeah, Chetty P. Yes, without a doubt, around here, uh, I battled them. And to be honest with you, they've gotten a lot better, uh, a lot. And then of course you see stuff like that happen. But um, I guess it's pretty bad though. Whenever you go into the post office and you drop off like 50 packages at once, that doesn't help matters. But um, still, they've been behind uh, quite a bit in the Greensboro area as far as the distribution center has been. Um, there's Cody, rookie, Josh Taylor, Zach Wheeler, and Zach Davies. All right, next pack. None of the big hits quite yet. They had it for a week and did nothing with it. So Pio is, is doing much better, shockingly. Yeah. Um, I thought right when I thought that was improving, then I get somebody like you that says it's been stuck there for a while. So, 
you know, I guess not to speak too highly of them. Jonathan Villar. Behind the numbers, we've got a Mike Pizza. Behind the numbers, 31. A Gullion rookie card. And Domingo Santana. No real hits out of that cello, but we still got your pinkies. Pinkies are hard to hit. Need the two of them in there. But you get a nice little one. That's not a bad one. Tsugo, rookie card in pink. It's a nice one. Not bad. And Yasmani Grandal. Not bad, Yushi. Yoshi. Tsugo. I'm going to set him up there anyway. But for bigger and better things. Hopefully, Chatty P hadn't took all of the power out of the Mega. We'll find out with this one. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Mega time 28 cards in a Mega. Man, these things have got big flaps. I can get it all out of there. Go. Oh, we have done that. And look at there. There we go. Another one stuck. All right, now we're done. Count the packs. Make sure we got seven. All right, three and four is seven. We're good to go. All right, let's get a super practice one. Super. There we go. Let's get a point five of point five. A zero of zero. What we're after. Edwin and Carcion, Logan Morrison, Nick Solak, not a bad, not a bad little miscellaneous rookie, and Buster Posey. Nick Solak in that one would be our best card. Brock Holt. There we go. We hadn't seen him tonight, and we finally got him. This is base Kyle Lewis, rookie debut right there. Rookie card. Nice little Jerry Lewis. He's getting hobby interest. Yeah, I've seen he's, I don't think he's getting as much as like, for instance, like Gavin Lux that I said was going up now. But yes, I have seen <coughs> his price is going up a tad bit as well. Nick Sola. But a nice little Kyle Lewis. Yeah, a big poppy. And an Eric Davis. Eric Davison. Big poppy. Tony Lewis. Probably hiding in the back. He's hiding in the background somewhere. He like sniffs out Lewis cards. Derek Jeter. Ooh, we got a backwards card. We'll set that down. Another backwards card. Mark McGuire. And Brendan McKay. Not bad rookie card of Brendan McKay. So let's. What do you think? RVA wants to wait, right? He don't want to know what that rookie is. He don't want to know what that auto is right away, does he? He'd really just see there. Yep, Shalaney's around. We we'll always pull Lewis when Shalaney's around. Uh, Tinico. And we got another one of those. Tatisis. Decades Next, 2020. Love that card. Love it. Love it. Nice Tatis. Labor Day and another King Griffey Jr. So when he shows up, we get a King Griffey Jr. as well. That being the drama queen. Pedro Martinez. Speaking of drama, anybody heard of that guy? Looks like he couldn't hit his way out of a wet paper bag, but we'll sleeve him up anyway. Tatis is a lot better. We'll say good things about Tatis. I love it, Tatis. Sato, eh, no, no big deal. Gabe and a Trent Grisham rookie card. Nice Trent Grisham, though. Let's leave it Trent Grisham. Yeah, I haven't seen the soda yet, neither, I don't think. Might be the cause of either one of two things. People don't want him, 
or it's harder to pull one or the other. Dickie's best of blue. Need that Dickie's best of blue. And we didn't pull this tonight yet. And we did. Jordan Alvarez. To be honest with you, other than Bo Bichette, I think this is probably the best rookie card in the in the set. I'd much rather have a Jordan Alvarez than I would a Lou Bob. And that's weird. In Chatty P's auction, though, I bought two lots of Lou Bob. <laughs> uh, Pete Alonzo. Uh, Philip Dean and a Yoshi Tashugo. Another Tashugo. Look. Last pack, and then we see what that possible auto is. All right, Robinson Cano. Behind the numbers, Mike Pizza, Refractor. He has 90 grand doll again. And a Cole Calhoun. All right. And now we get to find out what this backwards cards is. And I'm telling you right now, it's numbered because I've just seen a number come through. Let's just hope it's a good player. Mm, womp womp, right? Pitcher, Matthew Boyd. 14 out of 125. It is an auto, though. Just hope you're a Matthew Boyd collector. Not a bad little auto, though. I don't know what he's trying to say right there. It looks like a and one or something. I don't know. Ace or something. Maybe tried to spell. But 14 out of 125 out of a mega box. Feels not bad. Not bad. It's an auto, right? Everybody wants to get an auto. I forgot these are thicker cards. I have to get a thicker top loader for that bad boy. So, all right. It is 10 o'clock. Do we have anybody else? If not, we might end up calling it a night. That's RVA right there. And RVA got a Jordan Alvarez, a Tesugo, Matthew Boyd Otto, Jerry Lewis, Fernando Tatis, and that guy. <laughs> the autos sticker in update chrome from what i've seen so far uh, all these in the, but it's kind of hard to see them in there but you can see the outline of them a little bit because they got certified on there you can see them right there now than the reflection a little bit but they're hiding them a little bit better the stickers best they can but yes they all are stickers from what i've seen so far thanks for sharing the wealth ride appreciate the hookup no problem chatty p I'll have some more later on and stuff like that. Hopefully, I'll get a few more this week. Um, I still got plenty as far as that goes. So, hit me up, reach me out if you want to do a personal rip on the channel. I'll be more than happy to do that for you and ship out the cards or just add it to it at any time. Uh, if you ever have a question, you can always text me, uh, email me, or whatever. Uh, pandemic autos. Nobody was signing in person exactly. RBA was asking if you had another mega. Uh, didn't even miss that. Can you get another? You got another? Yeah, I got another one. I got several. As a matter of fact, I got. Uh, I picked up a total of I think six tonight. RBA. Did you want another mega? If it is, I can rip it. It's no big deal, though. Let me know. I'll look for a yes or no in the chat. Oh. I can't even stand up with all this dang packs all around me. I got a trash can right beside me, and I throw it all on the floor. RBA Sports. I'm not going to find this anywhere in Virginia, so this is my only shot. I'll take another one if you're willing to rip it, brother. Yep, sure can, buddy. I'm ready to rock and roll. We'll do another for you. They are. Um, you've got to be there when they drop. That's the way it is with all cards. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you that um, I think there was like seven or eight of them waiting tonight. Um, the good thing about it is the seven or eight was waiting. Two of them was Pokemon people. The rest of them was basketball and football guys. There was one guy that bought a few of Tops Chrome, not much. And so he gave the rest up to me. And I was like, I'll take it. So I'll either rip it, uh, pass it on to the other people, or I'll keep it one or the other. I don't care. So I think I bought like, I think it was like six megas, a few hangers, and like 
eight cellos, I think, something like that. So, um, gave everybody the opportune time. I said, look, anybody else want any more? Everybody's like, no, nah, I don't want none. You can have it all. So I'm like, okay, all right, go. Cool. So I'll take it and bring it back. So there we go. Hey, Dwight, just hoping, just hopping in. Thoughts on 2020 Series 1 for baseball. Hadn't seen any of it yet. Good rookie class. Curveball. See it? That's all we got in there, Bob. But hadn't seen any. I was hoping some of that would drop in tonight. But being that it's an early drop, these cards probably got shipped in probably the end of last week, being that they opened it or distributed them out this Monday. So I'm probably going to see towards the end of this week, hopefully getting more optic would come in and some some top, some some hoops, more hoops like that, and possibly some top series one towards the end of the week, I'm hoping. I haven't seen a hanger open yet. Of what? Of this? Of that? What are you talking about? 2021. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Good luck, RBA. Let's see what we got. With another mega box, we got a Josh Kipnis and Nestor Cortez, Mark McGuire, and Eric Thames. Eric Thames. All right. Let's see. See Faya. King Griffey Jr. Got a silver here, but I think it's going to be behind the numbers. And it is a Robin Yonk. That's a pretty card. Robin Yonk. Nice Robin Yonk card. Tyler Henneman and Ian Miller. Those are two rookies there at the end, but what do we call those miscellaneous rookies, right? Time for another Lou Bob to come on. Um, I've seen some of them drop, but not that much. Usually when, when they do drop, I only get like one hanger normally. But this time, there was she put out like eight. I think like three different people got one each, and I got the rest, uh, the other five hangers, whatever it was. I don't know. I just popped, put them up in my in my shell. Um, Clayton Kershaw, Anthony Rizzo, Mike Moustakas, and Sterling Marte. All right, still looking for the big hit. Maybe a Lou Bob out of this. Then got the Jordan out of it for him. See if we can do something. Maybe the Randy Rose Arena, right? Let's see a one on one. I haven't seen one of those yet, now. I think I've, I've seen out of 100 is about the lowest I've seen. I don't think I've seen out of 50 yet that I've pulled, period, yet. Cameron Maven. Man, this must be a Fernando Tati's Decades Next 2020 series run right here. Because this is the third one. Hadn't seen none of them before tonight and pulled three of them tonight. Kind of weird. And these are kind of harder to pull. The, you only get one of these normally per mega. Let me slide that out. We got two of them, I guess. I guess it's a hot card tonight. Anyway, still a nice card. But Kevin Pilar, we've seen him quite a few times tonight too. And Giancarlo Stanton. Three more packs. Rich Hill and Chris Bryant. Big Poppy. Derek Jeter. I did pull the SP Derek Jeter out of this. I remember that. I've got that to be sent off to be graded. The SP of Derek Jeter. Which was pretty cool. Can I make the jersey make a fancy cool card? Yeah, I think so. And look at there. Boom. Case hit, Tatis. And you got a behind the numbers here. A Johnny Bench. That looks pretty cool. Nice little Johnny Bench. Refractor. Number five. Pedro. There's another Jordan Alvarez. Sleeve up the Jordan Alvarez. Another rookie card of Jordan Alvarez. All right. Let me sleeve up the Acuna because it's, well, <laughs> it's Acuna. Right. Here we go. All right. Last pack of the Mega. Can RVA get lucky again and get another auto? The odds are stacked against him. We're going to see here. I'd be darned if he didn't get another auto. Look at that. Get another freaking auto. 
get two mega boxes and get two autos out of both of them. Pistol Pete, Robinson Cano, Yachty Molina, and let's see if it's numbered first. Chrome AM. AM. S USA AM. Don't know. Doesn't appear as numbered. Austin Meadows. Well, it is a rookie, like we always say. At least it's a batter. <laughs> uh, look at how many. He's been in the farm system for a pretty good little while, wouldn't you say? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and they finally got his debut, it looks like, in 18, I guess it is. So 19 would be his rookie card. Still nice little auto though, nice silver look to it. The sharp card, maybe not the one you want, I don't know. Pittsburgh a race fan, I guess. But I'm sure there is a Austin Meadows fan out there somewhere. Wish it was numbered though. But still a beautiful card though. Gonna be a beast, he says. Well, he better do better than what well, I don't know, last year. Last raise, he shot a, he hit a 291. That's not bad. 33 home runs. That's that's pretty darn good, right there. Left hand side of the plate, pretty nice. The card Meadows will be very good in the future. Yep. And like I said, this is a thick card, so I will sleeve that up later because I got to get a thicker. Um, so the standard top loader will not fit those because they're such a thick card. All right. I think that we are done for the night, fellas. Okay, that's two for me. Send a yard on to Chatty P, please. You want a, this to go to Chatty P? You're welcome, Tom. Thank you, buddy, for stopping in. All right, so I will send this from RVA to Chatty P then to Chatty from R V A. Got you down. Cool of you. Nice of you to do that. I got some cards to spread the wealth around with. One from James Palmer to the mayor. Chatty P gave to R V uh, uh, R V A. Gave to Chatty P. Chatty P gave one to Farm League, and he also gave one to Great Worthy. So, cool. Nice little give action going on there. And I've got to put this off to the side to make sure to give this points to. This went to. Who'd that go to? Um, Paul C. That's right. Paul C. All right. Paul C gets the numbers. 400. All right. I feel those things up everything is nice good night and god bless everyone congrats all all right cool well, looks like we are done for the night i appreciate everybody that bought in james tom farm league chatty p paul c and rva um if anybody else wants a personal break please hit me up i'll be more than happy to do it see what i got as far as inventory and get your price out but it's pretty much going to be standard what we got right here so i'm not too bad in prices I like to spread the west a little bit when i can find stuff in retail at a reasonable rate you'll notice a lot of these prices are a lot higher uh, through other people but uh, a lot of these packages are going out to some of the friends anyway of the channel so i'll have packages coming anyway so thanks everybody for stopping in everything have a fun night thanks for everyone dwight see y'all on very seldom more i'll be in there in the stream as well thanks a lot everybody and y'all keep on ripping clark sports cards out